Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Lejeune. And I'm Elizabeth. And this is your Morning Growl. So today, fall play is going to start tonight. Please come out and support your actors and actresses. But why hear it from me when you can hear it from the cast? So why should students go out and see the play? Um, well, this play is really interesting. It's not like a lot of the other plays that we've seen before or like per, you know, um, performed before. It's really interesting and it's really cool to see your friends like do something that they really love. So yeah, I think that's the main reason why people should go. Can you tell us a little bit about the play without giving anything Yeah. Um, well, pretty much it's about this boy named Charlie and just kind of like the evolution of him gaining intelligence through experiments and it's very scientific and really cool. It's just about his life and you see all the connections that he has with all the other characters. So yeah, it's really cool. Can you tell us a little bit about your character? Um, sure. Uh, her name is Alice Kinian. She uh, is a teacher. She's about like 23 years old. Um, she teaches a night class for mentally handicapped adults and she's really dedicated to her job. Do you recommend going to see the play? Uh, yeah, it's very powerful. Uh, you may cry. It's also a little funny at times, so you might laugh too. Um, and there's also a little bit of romance. I don't know. Uh, so I say come on out. It's pretty fun. Okay, well, the show is pretty technically challenging. So uh, we've included some shadow play, and there's a lot of um, music incorporated into different scenes and with lots of different lighting cues and everything. So uh, the show is coming along very well. Uh, it's a challenging show for us this year. Uh, it's taking a different approach from the more traditional type uh, performances that we do. Um, but we're really excited about it. We've got a great uh, cast and uh, tech crew uh, and they've worked really well together and um, the special effects, uh, the unusual aspects of the performance are coming along really well and we're just really excited to have an audience come and see Flowers for Algernon. So you think you're good at video games? Well here at Millbrook High School we're having a video game tournament on November 18th. We're going to have a Super Mario Smash Bros tournament and also have 2K free play so you can come and challenge your friends and see who's the best. It'll be on November 18th from 3 to 5 and all the proceeds will go to the food bank in North Carolina. Whether you enjoy video games or you just want to come and hang out, feel free. The video game tournament will be $5 or 5 cans. You just bring either to the door on November 18th right after school and you'll have entry into the event. We can't wait to see you guys there. I think it's going to be a lot of fun and uh, hopefully, hopefully a good challenge. Food drive is still going on, so make sure you're bringing cans to the senior lounge or donating money. Today, there will be a trash cleanup in the parking lot if you want to help out with that. Meet in the senior lounge to get some supplies. And on Friday, we're having a video game tournament from 3 to 5. If you want to come out to that, it's $5 or 5 cans at the door. And today is the last day to test for DECA. And if you want to attend the district competition, and you must test to, to be able to go to the district's competition. Now with Elizabeth for sports. Hey Wildcats! So today at 7 we have a men's varsity basketball game at home versus Nightdale. The theme is Throw It Up Thursday so you all should come out. And then tomorrow our varsity football game has its first round of playoffs at Richmond County High School at 7. The bus is leaving at 5 and tickets are $10 and you can buy them at lunch today. So I hope to see you there. That's all for your morning grill. Have a thrilling Thursday, Wildcast. Well,